YouTube. Hey, how you doing? Back again. Uh, I don't know if I'm like this is my first, second or third of my newest re re uh, reviews that I haven't done in over a year. Uh, yes, I'm back. Thank God. Um, had to be away for a while. Uh, new location, like I said, I had a house before and I had to down downsize because I just had to, um, you know, save money. So I'm around the corner, guys. I had a nice big house at one point. I had it for so many years. So I basically, you know, decided to downsize and get rid of it. And I'm now down to a nice condo, large size condo. So that's where I'm at now. And believe it or not, it's around the corner from where I used to live in my home, my uh, house, which was a five bedroom house. Um, so, you know, had to downsize and here I am. But anyway, guys, what you're looking at here is a very not rare but a guitar that you didn't you you know if you see this guitar if you guys know about guitars you would think that this is the sheena okay first act made a sheena guitar that was a i'm gonna say a mid-level price guitar which is actually a, a high price guitar in these days um but this is not it this is the first act me501 uh, they sold these in the stores like they sold all the other guitars, but this was their top of the line guitar that they sold through the stores. Um, and, the, you know, up until maybe a few up until a handful of years ago or so, they were putting these out in the stores. I'm not sure if they still sell this guitar or not, but if they don't, that's the reason why the price is, is going up on these guitars. So let me just go and explain this to you. I'm not sure what year this one is. I'll find that out. But what you're looking at here, like I said, is the first act ME501. It looks a lot like a Sheena, which if, like I said, you guitar guys out there, you should know what the first act Sheena is. People or people who don't know guitar, guitars like that, or they don't know first act like that. First act makes professional guitars also for bands and groups that you would not know or you do know. Uh, first act is a large company. American company that does a lot of awesome things, believe it or not. And this was one of the guitars that they said, okay, we're going to make a top guitar. We're going to give it this one. We're going to give it that. We're going to make this a really good guitar. Now, this guitar, I forgot what it sold for in the stores when you were able to find it. And a lot of people were catching on to this guitar when it came out. Uh, places like, I think even Walmart and places like, if I'm not mistaken, were selling this guitar. They didn't have a whole huge quantity of them because I think because the company knew that they were going to be this and that. Um, but this is basically a baby Sheena. Uh, if, 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 if people who know the Sheena, that's the, uh, the Sheena, it's the first act CE 240. Um, that is the most sought after guitar. One of the most sought after guitars that you can get available from first act other than the ones that were specially made for, you know, sessions and et cetera. Um, so basically what you get here is a bind it up, Al Nico pickup, Al Nico humbucker, uh, tulip almost style guitar. I mean, some of the tulip guitar from Tiesco back in the day and all that, blah, 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 whatever. But this here is a very nice guitar. I'm telling you guys, if you ever see this guitar anywhere, pick it up. And if someone doesn't know what they have, pick it up. Because these guitars now, the prices have gone up. And the average price, if you look on eBay, if you look on et cetera, if you look on um, uh, Reverb, et cetera, all the different companies out there, over whatever, whoever has this guitar for sale used or, or, or not, the average price for this guitar now is about $120, okay, which Eclipse, which is, <laughs> you know, sir, some things do better after they're sold, you know, and they go up, they go down like sports cars and the other things go up and go down. Vehicles go up and go down. Well, ma mainly they go down. But this was one of those guitars that hit a mark with people when it came out. OK, because you're basically what you're getting is real. Al ne These are Al Nico pickups. OK. Um, they got a specialized bridge there. That's it. It has their own style to this bridge. Um Two tone, uh, so, um, two tone, one volume. I think it is. No, no, I can't remember. It's one volume and one tone and something. I can't remember exactly what it is with this guitar. I got this is one of the guitars I got back. If if I didn't upload the other video and say it, I had some guitars that I lent out over the past few years, and I'm just getting them back. Okay, so this is one of the ones I had to track down from someone who was a player who actually took care of this guitar. 
it looks exactly the same as when I left it out. And he actually played this guitar. Um, he got it set up. It's actually set up pretty nice. And he took care of it. So kudos to him. I appreciate it. Okay. So what you got here is basically a binded up guitar that first acted. Real binding. It's, it's, it's all genuine binding. Okay. They did it all the way front to back. Now let me turn this around so you can see the back of it. Scarf joint. It's got your imitation gotas, which actually are okay. They, they stay in tune pretty well. Let's see, first act on there. It shows up on there in the serial number. There's your selector there. Strength through body. Cavity. A little marked on it. That, that always been there. A little scuff on that. That that. Eh, I think it's been there, but I think most likely it was there. I'll, I have video on this. I can see if it was there, but no big deal. He took care of this guitar. Uh, it's binded up on the sides. It's binding. Okay, as you can see. Put to a better view here. You see the binding on the guitar. A little mark there. Not bad. Now the neck. As far as playability and stuff, is not bad. They tried to go to, with almost like a 60s style Les Paul with the neck. Gets a little chunky. Not much, but, you know, it's kind of weird. It gets a little chunky, then it doesn't. Tapers off a little bit. But, guys, this is a great guitar. I'm telling you. I, now, I own two first acts. I own this, and I own the limited edition Garage Master, okay, which I love that guitar. Uh, that's worth a lot of money also. Now it's going up and continues to go up. Um, but guys, if you ever see this guitar anywhere, pick it up because for one, it has value and two, it's a great sounding guitar. I mean, where else are you going to find at a super store or whatever you want to find, whatever, without Nico pickups, its own unique body, sounds clean, even toned. The pickups are great. These are really good pickups. I mean, I can put these guitar, I can put these pickups in a $150 Les Paul from such and such brand made in, you know, East Bumper or whatever. And it'll make this thing, it'll make that guitar sound like a blindfold test. You'd be like, whoa. Um, yeah, I plan to do a video on this guitar of, of the way it sounds in the near future. Um, build quality, um, it's okay. As far as binding and all that, they did good with the body, fit and finish. Okay. The neck... That's where they kind of skimped that with this guitar, even though it's binded and has an okay nut, you know, nothing big, it's plastic, nothing, you know, expensive or anything. Tuners, uh, you know, like I said, they're okay. They're okay. All this guitar needs is a new nut, new tuner, new tuners. That's it. Boom. You got a great guitar. Um, the body, uh, not sure what the body, it's not plywood, um, but it's not a heavy type of wood either. I can't remember exactly what it's made out of. I have all the information on who made it and etc um but guys i just want to do a quick video on this guitar it that's not a quick video i'm rambling on as usual but this is basically a baby sheena guitar i see a 240 ce240 it's just a downsize guitar a little bit but they put quality pieces in this thing like i said it has al nico pickups the wiring and stuff is not that bad. You'd be surprised. It's not bad. Um, you know, like I said, the capacitor, you know, you can upgrade that if you want to, but not really. There's not a lot of noise in this guitar or anything. So, all right. Okay, guys, just wanted to, like I said, do this here little update video. I haven't done a video in a long time. So everyone out there, hope everyone is safe and well. So as always, guys. All right. God bless.